Aries, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the sign of Aries. It is not going to resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Aries placement that you may resonate with, some of the messages may also resonate with you. Personal reading information is linked and listed in the description box. At the end, we will pull some oracles, give you some more guidance for the week. And I do only take jumpers, Aries, so thank you for your patience in advance. First cards out this week, Major Arcana, the Hangman. Followed by the Page of Swords, Air Sign Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have the Four of Wands. Okay. I do get if there has been some sort of stagnancy or some sort of non-movement or um, something has come to a halt in the past. It does look like we're getting ready to progress forward. And it's a kind of almost like a good thing you kind of pro, um, halted. Five of Swords. Change energy with the five. Let's see what else we have. Lots of swords here as well. The Empress. Libra and Taurus energy for some of you. Mother energy for some of you. Some of you might be a parent. And the Knight of Cups. Water sign energy, Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Bottom of the deck is the Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, Page of Cups, Chariot. Movement. There's that movement. Okay, so the vibe I am getting here is that there is a desire to move in a particular direction. Whether it is actually moving houses, whether it is to move forward with a connection, whether it's to move forward with a financial plan or a business or whatever it is. Something new wants to be created here. Something new wants to um, be invested into. But... Um, it's kind of like a heads up saying, take your time. Don't be in a rush because it almost seems like the longer or the more um, you pace yourself, the better and more stable the outcome is going to be. Because it does look like you or either someone that you're dealing with in regards to the situation could definitely be work too. Have a lot going on with work, juggling with the two of pentacles. Got a lot going on, got a lot in your plate. Um... And it could also be some sort of change that is getting ready to happen, but it's almost just like you don't want to rush it. You want to let it happen as slowly as possible so the adjustment period will be a lot smoother. Because beautiful things in the outcome, the Four of Wands and the Knight of Cups, there's definitely um, emphasis on being able to move forward happily. Because it does seem like whoever this is has a lot going on. Ten of Wands and the Two of um, Pentacles. It's like you already got a lot in your plate. So trying to sort of rush any particular new thing might cause some stress to you. You might be showing up in this Empress energy, whether you have Taurus and Libra in your chart or not. Or you could be dealing with someone that you look at as an Empress, a parent, a mother, someone that's got a lot going on usually. But in order to maintain this sort of Empress energy, it's being advised that you take takes things slowly, take things in stride. If you got to put uh, the brakes on a couple things or the speed in which something is going, then do that because it is going to be beneficial. I do see um, a lot of either responsibility or someone's got a lot of, yeah, they got a lot going on. They got a lot they're responsible for. They got uh, a lot of plates in the air, so to speak, or balls in the air, so to speak. The Ten of Wands is usually my you're doing too much card. You're doing way too much. It can also be a burden. So you don't want to add any more burden to yourself because whatever this new thing is, it's beautiful and you want to keep the energy beautiful. You want to keep it. You don't want any resentment being, um, what's the word, mirrored onto it or projected onto it. And in order for that to be avoided, it's to kind of pace yourself. Take your time. Make sure you're seeing everything, seeing all the possibilities, weighing out all the outcomes. If things need to slow down or if things need to pause, it's a good thing. We also have here the Page of Cups, Water Side Energy. Again, some of you definitely have children. So it also could be a, a transition period for them. It's kind of saying ease it in, especially if this is some sort of new connection, which it might be for some of you. With this Knight of Cups and Four of Wands, it's like you want to move in with your partner, but it's like saying t slowly ease in. It's like let the person come over more often, you know, slowly build that sort of environment. Don't rush in too quickly because it could create some sort of heavy energy with the Ten of Wands. Because it does seem like some sort of new cycle is starting, especially with the Ten energy. And we have the Chariot movement forward. 
Cancer energy, cancer season could also be an important time frame. So heavily emphasis on actually moving. There's something about moving. We have the two of swords at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, and the death card, there's that transformation and the nine of swords. Stress. So in order for this to be avoided, this sort of stressful anxiety about how things are going to go, how things are going to happen, or the pressure of everything all at once, it is saying, take your time, pace yourself. It's a huge change, whatever this is. This is some sort of huge life, you know, it's going to change the way life looks for you. So it's saying, try and ease into it as much as possible, especially with the page of wands here, heavy emphasis on kids. But a new beginning, some sort of new energy here. We also have the Six of Cups and we have the Emperor to the Empress. Yeah, some of you have um, met somebody or will be meet some, meeting somebody. Maybe the both of you have children and, um, you know, that are still of age where they live in the house. And the connection is going to deepen. There is a very big temptation to deepen the connection. But um, it's like the urge for things to happen now is not the best way to go about it. Kind of like ease into it. The Five of Wands can say, you know... Somebody might want it to move a lot faster than what's necessary. Not, not, not to say what's necessary, but what's healthy. This is something that needs to take a slow sort of ease in. For it to be more comfortable, or things to be less stressful. Or even if this is just moving in general, you're moving. This is saying start early, be organized, make lists so that you're not stressed the hell out and pulling your hair out by the time you move. Don't wait till last minute if that's the case. If you're planning some sort of major move, don't wait till last minute. Sort of start preparing well in advance, six months in advance. Every day take steps towards making the move day easier. If this is a romantic situation for you, Aries. Okay, religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path and we have new love at the bottom of the deck a new person has steered your romantic feelings and heart-to-heart -heart conversations honestly discuss your feelings with each other so for a lot of you where this is a connection there's definitely a, a, a seriousness that's about to happen in the connection no, sorry that's the one that came out religious factors is kind of um tying back to this hangman term which is all about perspective all about the way we see things all about the way we do things right so Maybe this slow approach is different from what you maybe would thought would happen or the way you want it to happen. But sometimes the way we want it to happen is not the best, guys. We're measly humans. We don't we don't know that much in retrospect, right? So this is like, because that five of wands can definitely, five of swords, so I can definitely be, I'm getting like a bratty energy. Someone that's kind of stomping their feet like, no, I want it this way. If it doesn't look that way, then when that's not the way, that's not the best way. It's actually going to create more strife to go about it that way. So it's like a perspective A perspective is definitely needing to change here with the five and the hangman and the religious factors. That's also about beliefs, not necessarily religion, but how you see things, how you perceive things, uh, the way you believe things should be. And that could be what is sort of hindering, even making things going slower, maybe than they even need to go. Guidance, please also could be something that uh, is a is something that you you always do with the two of pentacles or this person they kind of do the same thing over and over again romance yeah choose a new direction and in the near future improving health so this is what i'm saying it's like some of you maybe are used to sort of just rushing into things with people and it's like if the if the person you're dealing with is not in that rushing in or if the situation is not rushing in and it's like you don't feel like it's real but that's actually it's saying do the opposite do the opposite of what you're used to doing especially with the two of pentacles that's all about um cycles and patterns and so is the six of uh cups just because it's not uh you know at the ch uh engaged in six months does it, just because it doesn't look like that or you know doesn't mean it's not right sometimes that's the best way to do things slow and steady taking time Figuring it out as you go. We have creating cooperation. Mm -hmm. More gets accomplished when everyone has a role to play. And what is that? Creating cooperation. Yeah. Heavy emphasis on cooperating. Because it's not as if it's not happening. It's just not happening in a particular way or a way that you're particularly used to. Which, think about it. The way that you're used to doing it, it didn't work. Right? Because for a lot of you, this is a new situation. This is someone completely new. 
and there's certain things that happened in the past or the way things happened in the past that quote unquote made you feel as if things were real that's kind of not happening here and it's saying no don't do that honeymoon honeymoon phase attending someone's wedding that's very much the four of wands very much the four of wands and for some of you it might be happening faster than you think you just don't see it and there's a sense of like um panicking almost with this with the nine of swords the two of swords. there's something you don't see so it's like you might have been with this person for a while and you're like okay when are they gonna propose they're not proposing and you're freaking out well, little do you know they're planning on proposing but because you don't see it right you're letting your mind sort of get the best of you but this is say no it's gonna happen king and, um emperor and empress definitely a true pair here heavy emphasis on children too okay and open up your heart. It will help you attract more love. So the fact that it's not happening on your time might make you kind of close off. Which is also making it happen a lot slower. It's almost like as if it wants to go fast. And spare time to collaborate. All about partnerships. All about coming together. All about, you know, joining forces. That type of vibe. That is please. A win-win outcome is forecast, full moon in Libra. There's that Libra energy. So it's saying that's also what the Five of Swords is about. The Five of Swords is a guaranteed win. This is like, stop stressing. You've already got this in the bag. And balance spirituality and practicality, full moon in Pisces. Both full moon energy, something could be happening around a full moon or a full moon could have been important. But this is all about balancing the Two of Pentacles, the mind. Don't let the, your mind run away with you. And every look at all these twos. Two of two of uh, the pentacles here. We have the two ants, the two fish, the scales with the two sides, the four of wands, which is eleven eleven, two and two. We also have another two here. And uh twos are all about collaboration, coming together, partnerships. So there's something you're stressing about that you have no need to stress about. You're just letting your little human body just Get wrapped up for no reason. Because it's like you already have something in the bag. Something's already yours. And it's, it's clearly progressing. It's already progressing. You can see it's person progressing. But it's something about the speed that you don't like. Lumira creating heaven on earth. As I said, it's happening. Very much confirming. So, that is your reading Aries. Hopefully it resonates with you. Thumbs me up. Don't forget to subscribe. See you guys next week.